Hello everybody, welcome back to another Multiverses video. First impressions, this is the Alpha. My name is Sivakoji, or Sivakiji, and welcome to the Zone Game and Go. So, as you know from the other first impressions of the Alpha uh, videos, we're basically talking about the move list and kind of getting the gist of what they can do, and then we're gonna actually get a visual of what they can, about how, how it actually looks. Like, what I've noticed so far is that a lot of text can be big, or like little paragraphs, but um and you actually look at it visually it's not actually all that complicated so um we're gonna be talking about wonder woman today oh i gotta mention this uh alpha beta key was provided by asap dream his um channel is in the description below if you also can join our discord channel as well you can also participate in matches for one piece burning blood Yu-Gi-Oh, as well as other anime brawlers or anime fighters um that the community kind of does so wonder woman is a tank horizontal and she's from dc of course everybody knows wonder woman um, from what it looks like here, it looks like we've got a pretty basic move set. Now they put her as recommended, so I guess she's for beginners. Uh, passive abilities, we got Brace Meter. When Wonder Woman blocks the projectile with her shield or gets hit while armored, she feels a meter which is used to power up her Amazon Shout. Amazon Shout is where? Oh, is there, it's her down, down attack. Okay, there it is. Okay. Okay, let's start with the attacks. Okay, so we got neutral attack, sword of Ares, charge forward, a sword swing. Okay, it's so a charge move. Okay, basic sword swing. I wonder how it actually looks if it was like more like an anti or if it's like. Oh, wait, you said swing. It's not a stab. Okay. Um, in the air, it becomes whirling sword, unleash a sword spinning attack that breaks armor. So we got one armor breaking move. Um, <clears throat> side attack, Amazon combo, a combo of sword slashes, sweep kicks, and shield bash. And then it becomes flying slash in the air, a fast forward down slash. Then we have the up attack, shield bash is a charge, similar to Sword of Ares. Upward is charge, upward shield bash. Okay, so she goes up in the air with her, sword, with her shield. And then rising kick, it becomes in the air, and overhead kick that is stronger at the end. I guess it's one of those like one, two, boom hits. And then we have the down attack, Amazon shout. I said Amazon, is it Amazon? It is Amazon. Release, <laughs> release an energy blast projectile from Wonder Woman's braces. So she has a projectile, which is weird. Uh, charge to increase the blast size. The blast power increases with her bracer meter, but the meter is consumed afterwards. Briefly grants armor to Wonder Woman and her ally in the blast. So if her ally is near, they'll be given armored, I guess they get an armored move. I don't know how, it says briefly grant, so. I guess we'll actually be able to find it out once we look at it visually, if it's like a second or two seconds, or if it's like 0 0.5 seconds, you know how people are specific in terms of numbers. But in the air, it becomes a flying spear, which is a powerful downward stab. So right now, from what we can look at the attacks, it's a pretty basic, from what I can see. She is a tank, I'm guessing tanks are supposed to um, tank all the damage, but in terms of a fighting, I don't really know what that means. I, I will say I'm a little bit confused on some of the um, the roles currently right now because I just haven't seen it visually in terms of fighting wise. I've just been going, going inside the lab and going to the training mode to look. But from what I can see, um, tank to me in some case has something to do with either saving your teammate or like trying to take the brunt of the of the like the fights to them, like trying to actually fight or one v two because most of this is going to be two v two. But yeah, that's the Amazon Shout there. So Amazon Shout charged her with the braces when she blocks, or she blocks with her shield. And that's what I'm a little bit confused about too. Like, if is her dodge a block or something? Or is it just an actual dodge? Or is there a move here that does it? So I guess we're going to find out in the specials. Okay, so neutral special is Lasso of Truth. Wonder Woman throws out her Lasso of Truth projectile, pulling enemies and allies to her. Cooldown applies. So we saw this during the tutorial. It's basically like a savings grace move. So a person actually falls off the map, you can just lasso them and bring them back to you. It is a cooldown, so it's similar to uh, Rain Dog. As if Rain Dog causes damage over time. Uh, Warrior's Charge side special. Wonder Woman launches forward with armor and her shield raised, destroying incoming projectile. Okay, I guess this is one of the ways you can actually get that bracer up. If a projectile is destroyed, Wonder Woman can instantly act again. Uh, charge to keep the shield raised. Wonder Woman can move back and forth while her shield is raised. Allies that Wonder Woman passes will receive armor. So we got another armor granting move. Don't know how long this armor is going to last, but we got Warrior's Charge armor and we got Amazon Shout armor. 
and a soaring punch, which it becomes in the air. Wonder Woman delivers a forward flying punch. So this is going to be her smash move or knocking person out if she actually jumps off the map herself. I see Wonder Woman as a character that's not actually going to jump off the arena that much and try to go for a spike. More cases, she's probably just going to be trying to stay centered. Not exactly sure on the stats of the roles as well, like if tanks are hard to knock off or not. Um, but we'll kind of we'll probably get to that as you know more is actually released for the game. Uh, Flying Warrior up special, similar to her special ground side, uh, but a shield dash upward. Oh, okay, okay, uh, that makes sense. Allies can use Wonder Woman's shield as a platform, so she has a platform creator, and it's the same as ground. Now down special, Defense of the Gods. If in range, Wonder Woman will dash to her ally, cleansing them of debuffs, and giving her her ally a shielded buff. Shielded is similar to armor, but blocks both knockback and damage from the next incoming attack. Shielded also increases Wonder Woman's bracer meter when hit. So she feels like a supporty, but is mostly giving armored and shield, basically. Um, I don't really see any debuffs, so she's not going to be hurting her opponent with any sort of debuff. She can cleanse, which is pretty awesome. It has a little bit of that MMO, not MMO, but uh, MOBA uh, feel to it, which is pretty cool. So she can give armor with her uh, Wonder Warrior's Charge. She can give armor with her shield with Defense of the Gods, and Amazon Shout will grant armor as well. So she's able to give three different buffs to the, uh, to the ally. And she has, uh, it looks like, two projectiles on her side, as well as the cleanse, which is pretty cool. So after reading all that, or more, she actually has more projectiles, forgot about the Brace Meter. So one thing that I, I would like to mention is that her Bracer Meter, if you can read, the, read, that, read it again, when Wonder Woman blocks a projectile with her shield or gets hit while armored, see I didn't, that, that last part, gets hit while armored, I didn't actually think of that. So like her Warrior's Charge, like I mentioned, can get it, and then Amazon Shout can get it, and um, I think that's really it, those are the only ones that can really get that effect unless you know you have an opponent or you have an ally that actually grants armor on hit so let's kind of visually look at all this here i put it on instant cooldown so we can kind of like oh she looks actually pretty cool i didn't really notice the tutorial but she looks really nice i like this okay so we have the meter down there i guess that's the bracer meter so every time she watches the textiles that's the neutral attack there charged up it's really fast actually really love that okay side side attack let me get with Okay, basic three. It's really cool. I really wish I knew how to. Actually, let me look at the jump real quick. Okay, so we only got two jumps. Okay. So in the air. So this is neutral in the air. And this is side attack in the air. Okay, down attack. There's the shout. Okay, there's the there's the brief. Okay, let me get let me get a good out here. Let me see. I kind of want to see how brief this is. Okay, this that's not bad. Okay, that's not bad at all. I guess while I guess while he's here, we could just go ahead and uh, keep on going. Actually, so in the air, it becomes the downward. Downward stab, as mentioned before. This is our spike move. Okay, up attack. We got an overhead. Okay, charge for more damage. In the air. Looks really cool in the air, actually. It's really nice. I love that. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much all her attacks. The only thing that really kind of, uh, you know, showcases or like just brings out to me is the Amazon Shout, which it seems like Amazon Shout would be a, like a, uh, a special or something, but uh, things change. But the Rolling Sword, just something to remember that it does break armor. Okay, so we are specials now. So Lasso of Truth brings opponents to you, but brings allies to you as well and gives them armor. Correct. Why did he give him armor? He gave him armor. Oh, oh no, no, no! He'll just have, he'll just be armor. Huh? Why did he give him armor? I have no idea. That's the armor buff, right? 
Oh, it didn't say it gives armor, but I think it gives armor. Whatever. Well, in the air, it's the same thing. You pretty much save your uh, your ally when they're falling off the map, similar to uh, Rain Dog. So, side special. Got a little sword bash here. Look at that nice animation. You got the armor with the with the uh, sword bash. I believe I can hold it too to block projectiles. So she works as a really good defensive, like heavy projectile characters will actually be able to get uh, countered by her. And in the air, it's a heavy punch, just similar to the way Shaggy's uh, neutral attack is. And then down special goes to the ally, immediately grants shield. Now let's look at that again. If in range, one of them will dash to her ally, cleansing them of debuffs, and giving her and her ally shielded buffs. So the cool part about that is that it's like literally almost instant. How nearby is it? If nearby, okay, I'm about to say. That's really, that's really, that's actually a really amazing range for being nearby. I think they should use a different word for that. Look, at, it's like really right, right here, right here. Not only that, but can you do it in the air? So she can save herself. She's gonna be one of the hardest characters to knock out if she's able to actually. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Okay, well, yeah. Wow. Okay, well, in the air, same thing as I already shown. And now for up special, you can actually hold this down, so you can kind of delay it. Like I said, like they said before, it becomes a platform. I really love that move, actually. Gotta utilize that down. But yeah. I'm not gonna really demonstrate the bracers here because uh I don't really know how to work the work the stuff. Yeah, I don't know how to work the stuff, so we're not gonna do that. But for what I've seen, uh Wonder Woman is a decent like, she, she feels like an easy tank. I can't really compare her to other tanks yet because I haven't really seen them. I know Superman is the only other tank in this game. Um, but for what I can see, she's very protection-oriented. Like, she stands her ground. She grants armor. She grants shielded buffs. She can cleanse. Which characters that, like, we, we, we saw um, Shaggy and Bugs Bunny just go downtown on people. Harley Quinn. All that stuff can be removed. All those setups can be taken away just by Wonder Woman using her cleanse ability. And she doesn't just cleanse, like, um, like... Uh, allies, she can cleanse herself like almost instantly, so since so she gets debuffed, she can just do it. If she's given the time, anyway. Which I find really nice. Okay, guys, that is pretty much it for the Wonder Woman video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm learning so much from this game. I can't wait to start doing matches in the future for this game. Um, and I hope, you know, if you actually end up playing it, it's going to be free to play. The beta is going to be happening in July, and uh, we might meet each other. Okay, other than that, have a good day.